when you ask most men out there what are your reproductive organ the next thing you hear them say is the penis and the two balls down there but the fact is the male reproductive system is more than just the penis and the two reproductive balls down there good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Mercy Mary, popularly known as a nurse, so it's a difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be talking about the male reproductive system, the male anatomy. We are going to be dividing it into the male internal organs, that's the internal anatomy, and also the male external anatomy that we are familiar with. But before we go into details into this class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are contents you are interested in, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be talking about the male reproductive system, the anatomy of the male reproductive system, where I divided them into the internal aspect and also the external aspect. When I say the internal aspect, I mean the internal aspect, the ones you cannot see, they are inside the body. The anatomy that's inside the body then when i say the external the external is the one that is obvious that you as a man can actually see and also examine if need be but before i push further into today's class whenever i make a video about the men whenever i talk about the boys i talk about guys i talk about their body i talk about what's happening to them cancer and all that i get a lot of positive comment like 90 to 95 percent of positive comments commenting my effort telling me to shoot more videos for the men and also telling me i'm doing a good job i get 90 to 95 percent good comments and i must say thank you very much for the feedback and also for the comments but also these remaining five percent these remaining five to ten percent gives um like a, a, should i call it a large they like oh no miss mary you are a woman you are not a man how do you know so much about a man why don't you just talk about the women so i get comments like this and i just want to introduce myself again my name is messy mary i am a registered nurse midwife I have a bachelor's degree in nursing and currently running my master's degree in public health. You can see I am more into the headline and during my course of study, I was taught the reproductive system, not just the female reproductive system, but also the male reproductive system. Same way a, a male doctor know about the male and female reproductive system a male nurse know about the male and female reproductive system that is the same way a female nurse knows about the male and female reproductive system one thing you do is to get the knowledge that you need and push forward that's just what i have to say it gives me more joy as a woman when I know my body, when I know what is happening in my body, when I know the various organs in my body, it helps me a lot. So I believe as a man, when you know the various organs in your body, you know the various things that are happening in your body, it will go a long way to help you live a wonderful life. And I believe you'll be excited knowing what's going through your body. So back to the video proper, like I earlier said, I'm going to be dividing the anatomy into the internal and the external part. First of all, let's start with the external part, the part you can see. The first obvious male reproductive organ is the penis. I believe a lot of us are familiar with the penis. The penis is a is an organ, is a, is a is a copulatory organ that is found in a man that is down there. You know what I mean when I say it's down there. It is used for reproduction, it is used for urination, and it is used for sexual activity. So that is the first one. Then the second one I have to share with you is the testicles. We all know the testicles. The man has two testicles that are down there. These testicles are used to produce sperm. They can store sperm and also they help in the production of the male hormone known as testosterone. We all know that testosterone is a male hormone. So the testicles help in the production of that male hormone. So you know. Then if you look down there as a man, there is something called a scrotum. The scrotum is what covers the testicles, is what protects the test, is what's like it's like a cover, like an umbrella, like a shield for the testicles. So these are the three external things or external organs that are found in the 
in the male reproductive system that now takes us to the internal organs things that are inside that as a man you don't see but it's important you know because it is your body all right in terms of the internal structure i want you to take a look at the picture on the screen first of all remember i told you the testes it's obvious you can see the testes from the outside on top of that testes you're seeing something they wrote epidermis can you see it yes so that epidermis is where the sperm matures is where they store the sperm it's where the sperm is concentrated so that is also part of the male reproductive system when the sperm is producing the testes now it goes into the epidermis there in the epidermis this sperm is being stored it gets to maturity to be concentrated there so from the epidermis there's what we call if you are looking at the screen there's what we call the vas difference the vas difference this vas difference is the one that transports the mature sperm from that epididermis it transfers the mature sperm from the epididermis into the urethra just be looking you see the way the epididermis is it's starting from that um sorry the vas difference is it is starting from the epididermis to go into the pelvic region that is going up remember the epididermis is where um, the sperm matures, is where the sperm concentrates, and it's where the sperm is being stored. So the vast difference is the one that transports the sperm from the epididermis to go to the urethra before you get to, before it comes out during ejaculation. The other organ I want to share with you is the seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle is also known as the seminal gland or the vesicular gland. This seminal vesicle, what's, what it does is that it's the one that produces the fluid that turns into semen. The seminal vesicle is the one that produces the fluid that turns into semen. Now that takes me to the other gland which I want to share with you, which is the prostate gland. I've talked about prostate cancer. I've talked about how to prevent it in my previous video. But in terms of the prostate gland, what it does is that it produces fluid that nourishes and transports the sperm. The prostate gland produces fluid that nourishes and transports the sperm. Then that takes me to the other one, which is the urethra. The urethra is where the urine comes out through. It is where the sperm comes through. So the urethra is like, it's been covered by the penis. That thing, the penis you see, the urethra is inside there. Let's just put it that way so you understand better. So it is through the urethra that urine comes out. It is through the urethra that the semen comes out during ejaculation. That is also part of the male reproductive system. Then the other one I want to share with you is the bulbo urethra gland. The bulbo urethra gland. Let me tell you what this gland do. Is that, you know, the urethra, it's a place where urine comes out and also where semen comes out. So the bubble urethra gland releases a secretion that helps to cleanse the urethra first. It cleans the urethra before the main sperm comes out. So that is the function of the bubble urethra gland. It re releases fluid, the pre-ejaculation fluid that cleanses the urethra before the main what? Before the main ejaculates comes out that's the function of the bubble urethra gland i've talked about the epididermis i've talked about the bubble urethra gland i've talked about the prostate gland i've talked about seminal vesicles i've talked about urethra and another one i want to talk about is the ejaculatory duct i've not talked about it the ejaculatory duct it mixes the sperm with the seminal vesicles you know sperm is coming fluid is coming from the seminal vesicle so it's the ejaculatory duct that mixes this whole thing together and pushes it out it comes out is that ejaculatory duct now so it's coming out that's the last place everything is now mixed up and it pushes it out so these are all um parts of the male reproductive system you can see the male has a lot of things going inside not just the outside that you can see i just want to give you a better understanding of what this thing is so you have an idea so i believe the picture i'm going to be putting on the screen is going to do a better explanation for you to understand generally um the male reproductive uh, system has various function they secrete hormones like earlier said the testes secrete hormones known as testosterone and this testosterone is the male hormone then the second function of this male reproductive system is for um it to discharge sperm 
for the female reproductive chart. Without the female, without the male reproductive system, there will be no sperm. So they, it is needed for sperm production and it is needed for the transportation of matured sperm. It is needed for fertility. It is needed for childbearing. It has a lot of function. I hope the men have a better understanding of what their internal uh, male reproductive organ look like. I actually wanted to make a video on signs and symptoms of STI in the male. That was when this whole, I decided to treat this first before doing that. So thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nos Mesmeri saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.